So, level one exam window for the February 2021 uh, exam is over, and uh, we are getting some emails from candidates saying, look, I want to start level two, but I don't know what my results are. How does that work? So, uh, after every exam, uh, we have what we call our no-cost, low-cost strategy that candidates can follow. Uh, I, I don't recommend, at, at this point in time, without knowing your results, I wouldn't recommend buying level two uh, uh, you can just buy a section of level two so just add one section 3650 canadian or if you think better in us dollars it's 29 us and there are two ways you can think about what section you want to add equity is the longest section at level two it's not a difficult section it's actually quite easy it's like corporate finance it's easy but it's long so you can knock that out of the way and since you already have gone through the code and standards. It's the same at all three levels, by the way. You've got ethics and equity out of the way before the end of April. I anticipate results will be out somewhere between April 20th uh, and the end of April. Somewhere in there. I just don't know what day, but that's my best guess. Or you can start with a, a more challenging section. Uh, quant, fixed income, derivatives at level two. These are quite challenging. Uh, derivatives feeds back very well on level one, as does equity. If you get equity at level two and you have to repeat level one while well, level one equity will be fairly straightforward same with level one derivatives fixed income kind of feeds back on uh, on level one fixed income but only in terms of understanding spot rates par rates and forward rates quant uses a lot of the foundational stuff you learn at level one uh, so it doesn't really feedback on level one as it much as much as it uses the foundational topic so that if you understand it at level two you'll understand it at level one there are two options that will uh, or two outcomes at the end of april outcome number one is you pass level one uh, so you're going to add the full level two option for 365 but you've already paid 3650 so you'll only pay the difference that is the no cost part of the strategy. In other words, it didn't cost you anything because you're paying the same 365 you would have paid anyways. Uh, the low cost part of the strategy is you did not pass level one. Well, it only cost you 3650, right? And if you picked a level that feeds back on level one, well, it helps you out at level one a bit more. Plus, because of our one fee to pass uh, 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 policy now, as of 2021, all our pricing at each level is one fee to pass, one fee to pass that level. So if you buy a level one subscription, you only pay for that subscription once. If you do not pass, we carry you to your next exam. There is no cost in, 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 in you, uh, for, uh, on you for, for doing that uh, until you pass that level. So uh, you, don't, you don't pass, you're only out 3650, but you provide your results and your new registration date and we will extend your level one access to that date. Uh, there is no cost for us to extend access uh, to that date. Uh, you must have had a February 2021 subscription, by the way. It's, it's not for everybody and anybody listening. This is for our subscribers. If you had a subscription on our site for February 2021 and you did not pass level one, there is no cost for you to extend your level one access to the next exam that you register for. Not the next window, the next one you register for, whatever that one happens to be. If you decide that it's going to be November, it'll be November. This is the low cost part of that strategy. You're only risking 3650 if you if you uh, you know are thinking well I'm not sure if I did pass or didn't pass then risk a small amount get started yes but you know there's no point in paying for the whole level if, if you're uncertain pay a little bit and get started the other option you could follow is say look even if I pass level one pass or fail level one I don't plan on taking level two until 2022 or until much later in the year maybe November so I don't really need to start today thank you very much Okay, uh, what you can do is you can reinforce those level one topics that directly support level two. So I've made a, a, a grid of what readings in level one are really super important for level two. So let's have a look at that. So in this column here, we have level two topic, quant, economics, FRA, and here are the readings at level one that will support what you're going to do at level two. So from level one, common probability distribution, sampling and estimation, hypotheses testing, 
You're just expected to know that when you get to level two because you'll be doing linear regression, multiple uh, linear regression and time series analysis. You'll be using different distributions to test uh, for variances versus uh, means. There's ANOVA tables, which are F tests, which are F distributions. You're really just expected to know all that stuff, especially hypotheses testing. Uh, for economics, currency exchange rates, yes, you're going to see currency exchange rates again at level two. And this is uh, for each section again. These are the readings at level one that will support you at level two. That the better the understanding you have of these, I think there's 18 here, of these 18 readings, the easier those readings, the continuation of those readings become at level two. Uh, if you want to know how to get to this uh, chart on our site, uh, simply click on at the very top, click on pricing and subscriptions. Click on level two and scroll down to the uh, full access add-ons. You can add a level one archive. If you buy a level two subscription on our site and you don't have the level one archive already, you can add it. If we select this uh, and click for details, uh, you should see everything right there. And that's how you get to uh, that particular chart. So you can say, well, I don't need to get started on level two right away. But what I can do is I can review these readings from level one, thereby preparing me for an easier time at level two when I do get to those continuation readings or those readings that, that use level one as very foundational material that I'm just expected to know. That's it.